Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. This is gonna be my Gotham Episode 7 video. Some of the best Riddler scenes I think we've gotten all season long. So just careful for spoilers if you haven't seen the episode yet. Towards the end of season one, they, they were teasing like a really strong Riddler arc. And now we're really starting to see the fruits of that. Like we're, we're slowly getting towards full blown Riddler costume. But the actor that plays Riddler was talking about the next version of his costume. It's gonna be green, but we're not gonna see any question marks on it. But we will see him dropping more riddles. And I, I don't know if we've seen the last of the shadow self, like the shadow Riddler. But let's just go ahead and do top five WTF. There, there's a whole bunch of storylines that we need to talk about. Starting with number five, Catwoman versus Silver St. Cloud. This is your standard Mean Girls storyline. I think we're all just looking forward to Catwoman clawing Silver's eyes out. As far as story arcs go, like I always enjoy seeing Catwoman Bruce arcs, but I feel like this is gonna be one of the less interesting ones on the show. Like, like the Riddler, Gordon versus Theo, those are gonna be a little bit more thrilling. Catwoman versus Silver St. Cloud is, is more of like a schoolyard fight situation. Unless Catwoman breaks out her shotgun and shoots Silver in the chest. That would be pretty crazy. If Riddler can walk around with a severed hand, then surely Catwoman can start using that shotgun on some people. But the big problem right now I think is with Bruce's character. He is now one of the dumbest characters on the show. Like Gordon finally figured out what was going on with Theo. Like he finally like woke up the light bulb turned on in his head. That has not happened for Bruce yet. Or he's choosing to ignore the warning signs just because he's so desperate for companions. Silver said, I'm going to be Bruce's only friend, you know, like trying, trying to get Catwoman to go away, Im imply that if Catwoman didn't stop hanging out with Bruce, she was going to have her killed. And part of me feels like Bruce actually believes that, like his self-esteem is so low that like if you told him you don't have any friends, part of him would believe it. When he actually does have quite a bit of friends, like Gordon's his friend, Alfred's his friend, Catwoman's his friend, eventually he'll realize that. But I think it's going to be Catwoman that's going to take care of Silver, just because their conflict is a little bit more physical. I don't see Bruce doing a whole lot of punching and kicking until Azrael comes on the show. And I, I really don't even know what they're going to do with that character. It's the Order of Saint Dumas. That's the big group of people that's coming to town. Azrael is just part of that. And actually, just to clarify, I saw, I saw some people on my last Gotham video asking whether or not this is a Court of Owls storyline or this is an Azrael storyline. Actually, it's neither. It will eventually turn into a Court of Owls storyline, but the Court are those original ruling families of Gotham that kicked the Dumas out. The Dumas family that became the Galavans is represented by the Order of Saint Dumas. That's actually a larger organization that the Dumas family just kind of integrated into and co-opted. So the first half of this family is more about the revenge of the Dumas family. And then I think the Court of Owls will rear its head in response. It's like if you have a club, you kick someone out, then that person comes back with another organization to try and take over. The original club will eventually answer in kind with force. Now, now, obviously, we just we haven't seen the rest of those families yet. We've only seen the Waynes, and we've only seen the Dumas. There are other families that we'll eventually meet. So on to number four, Theo versus Bruce. As he explained, Theo's going to try and take Wayne Enterprises from Bruce, take control. It's a little bit like what Bane did to Batman during The Dark Knight Rises. To, you know, take that big cushion away. Although in The Dark Knight Rises, Batman had already spent most of his wealth. So he kind of already pulled the rug out from under himself. But you get the idea. Theo's slowly trying to take Bruce's agency as well as his sense of self away from him. So he's waging a physical, a psychological, and an economic war against the Wayne family. Speaking of physical war, on to number three, Penguin versus Theo and now Butch. The Butch part is a little bit more fun, but, but the whole reason for them killing Penguin's mother, I think is twofold. One, to galvanize Penguin against Theo, to, to just to show who the real villain on the show is. So that Penguin, even though he's super evil, becomes an anti-hero at a certain point. And two, I just, I don't think they knew what to do with the character going forward. They, they didn't have a compelling arc for her. Of all the characters in and around Penguin in the comics, his mother isn't a really big figure. So there, there's just not that many directions to take his mother on the show. So she has to go. This is just the most efficient way for the writers to get rid of her. Like, we'll throw her under the bus, but in doing so, we'll push Penguin over the edge. So Penguin and Zaz declare war on Theo and everyone around him, which is now Butch, although technically Butch is his own man, as he says. I, I think he's being honest when he says that. Penguin was controlling him like a marionette, so now Butch doesn't have to act like a puppet so much. Like, there were points last year when he literally acted like a puppet. He danced like a puppet. So I'm kind of glad that that's over. Even though Theo versus Gotham is all about his war against the Wayne family, I do think that Penguin is going to be the one to ultimately take Theo down, to like deliver the killing blow. Speaking of which, on the number two, Gordon versus Theo. Gordon officially declares war on Theo to his face, like the light bulb finally comes on in his head in this episode. I was wondering how long it would take him. 
Early in the episode, Tigress was complaining about how she wasn't getting to have any fun. When are you going to let me have some fun, Theo? Well, this is just the signal that fun will be had. There will be open war in the streets. Like, we're moving towards the mid-season finale, big battles. And in order for that to happen, you have to have this, this open villain moment where Theo's like, you're coming after me? Well, good luck. You could try, but you're not going to succeed. So now the line in the sand has been drawn. You have, like, Gordon coming at Theo from one direction. You have Penguin coming from another direction. You have Theo coming at Bruce from two different directions. Everybody's getting ready to start slinging bullets. And the Order of Saint Dumas hasn't even got here yet. But finally, under my favorite storyline this week, the Riddler versus himself. So if you ever watched Joss Whedon's Buffy or Angel, Angel had this like this internal war going on in himself where there was the Angelus self, the evil version of himself that didn't have a soul. And then there was the Angel character, like the good character that did have a soul. So the Riddler here has his own version of that. Only the Angelus version of himself wins. So he cracks a smile and just starts dicing Miss Kringle's body up. I was actually surprised that she was dead. I actually, I had to check the wiki after last week and it was like, Miss Kringle gravely injured. So I was like, maybe she's not dead. But then sure enough, the minute that severed hand showed up in this episode, in the vending machine no less, I was like, yep, definitely dead. Definitely, definitely dead. That was one of the best parts too. You know, better than the smile at the end was him finding the hand in the vending machine. Who else thought the rest of her was hidden behind other vending machine slots? Like he'd have to start hitting like all the buttons just to get it out. We're gonna need a shitload of dollar bills to get her out of there. That'd be like the cartoon version of Gotham. Let me know in the comments though, what was your favorite part about the episode? And who do you think is going to be the one to kill Theo ultimately? Or do you think that he's just going to get away? Do you think it's going to be like Fish Mooney and we won't see like a severed head or a body? James Frain is such a good actor. I'd be really sad if the show lost him forever. So hopefully like they'll, they'll find some way to explain him getting away. Like you do want to see the penguin twist the blade inside him just, just to get a little bit of revenge, but you don't want to see the show lose the character forever. But what's going to happen next is, is Constantine is coming on Arrow. It's going to be badass. It's also a big Black Canary episode too. So be sure to watch it on TV when it airs, even if you've already watched the episode. Everybody like winking at each other. So I'll post that video later tonight after the episode airs. But Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. also just revealed the identity of Lash. So I'll post that video Thursday. And then I'm working on a Supergirl video that I'll post later on Thursday. Hopefully I'll have a room tour video sometime soon too. I'm having a bunch of furniture delivered, so it, sh it should actually look like a real person's apartment that someone lives in and not just a bunch of bare rooms with like my recording space. So be sure to subscribe to get everything. And if you guys didn't see my Warcraft video, the full trailer for that is coming on Friday. I'm doing a special giveaway for it. So just watch my Warcraft teaser video if you don't know what's going on with that. While you guys wait for everything to post, you can click here for that, that Warcraft teaser video if you haven't seen it yet. And you can click here for last night's episode of The Flash. Probably one of the best episodes this season. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.